Hey, it's me again. I know you gotta be tired of me, and I'm sorry. Kinda sorry, but not really. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm playing with molds, so I thought I might bring you along with me. There's all the ones that I have done so far. So I'm gonna roll out a few more. And that is my plan to put them all on that heart. So, let's go. And if you are not receiving um, text alerts, and you want to be, that number, you text the word live to 217-262-9440, just in case you're wanting them. And I don't normally go do as many texts as I have today, which I've been live quite a, this is the third time, um, but I mean, yeah. So anyway, here I am again. I just thought I'd take you along for these, uh, these molds real quick. But anyway, um, like I said, if you want to be on the texting list, it is 217-262-9440. Just text the word live to that number and um, you will be able to get text alerts from now on if you're wanting them. And by the other, other side of that coin, if you are on the list, you know it, Patricia. <laughs> if you are on the list and don't want to be anymore, um, just text the word stop and we can take you. And, and I think that actually automatically takes you off. Well, hello, Rianne. Again, well, I don't know if you were here earlier. I don't think you were. Hey, Sandy. <laughs> Great minds think alike, huh? <laughs> so, um, what I am using, I've got cornstarch in my mold. And, oh, I just threw away the boxes. It's called modeling material. It's just like when you bake or cook, huh? You got to get the box back out for the directions. Um, modeling material is what this is. And of course, I didn't turn the screen around, so I'm not going to mess with that, I don't think. We're not, well, we might later. Depends on how many people holler about it. <laughs> hey, Julie. Okay, so I'm just taking out the excess. This is, if you've never messed with molds, it's just a lot like Play-Doh. It's kind of fun. Hi, Lori. Stella, thank you for the stars. Renee has so many molds, it hasn't started to use them yet. Oh, good, good, I'm glad you're, I hope this, I hope this helps. <laughs> Screen looked the right way. Um, it's not, <laughs> I don't think. I thought that, I didn't think I could read the words on it. But, anywho, I'm just getting off any excess now real quick. And try not to do this all day. Julie, thank you for the stars. <laughs> I swear, you guys, you're killing me. I appreciate you. You have no idea, but thank you. Okay, so I'm just kind of making sure I got that all filled in, all leveled out. Julie, did you send stars twice? <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. I'm just trying to get that all out of there. And then, let's see, I think it's about ready to come out. And I'm not even sure how many I need at this point, how many I even want. Oops. There it is, it's a rose kind of border. Peggy, <laughs> thank you. Yes, I am back, Pe Peggy, thank you for the stars. Let's see, I hope we're close to enough. I think we'll do this one thick border and see where that gets us. And hopefully that one takes up a lot of room and we can get it um, finished a little bit faster. But you can see up above the hearts there that um, are the heart. That's what I'm planning to do with them is glue them all on there and then we'll have to let them dry for a day or so. And then I'll probably just come back and um, either use a wax or a glaze or something like that to get down in the cracks. And uh, uh, I'll, probably st I'll probably do it very similar, actually, now that I think about it, very similar to that, um, if you were around for that B, I think it was a B, or maybe it was a D. 
that big wooden letter we did with all the, the floral molds and everything. I think um, I'll probably do it really similar to that. Thought about doing red down in the cracks for Valentine's Day, but I think I'll keep it neutral. Okay. So, um, anyway, I did all these molds ahead of time so you wouldn't have to wouldn't have to put you through the pain of watching me do all of those. Not that it took forever, but it takes a minute, you know, to do them all. Okay, don't mind my um, envelope here that I'm working on. Okay, let's figure this out. I've never done this, so I thought it would be fun. I'm going to get these all off of here. And I'm probably going to want my little craft knife. There, I've about got that flower off. Okay, I got my craft knife. And I probably ought to take this string out before we get any further. I'll just cut it out. Okay. So now we got us a little blank slate to work with there. Um, and I don't think it'll matter that it's not painted because, oh, let's see, what are you guys saying? Okay. Expand your horizon. Use red. I've only got one thing of red. Um, I don't know. And I, I don't know. I'm iffy on that. Neutrals are my favorite, so that's why I tend to stay with those. If it's something I'm going to keep, I want it, you know, to match my house, but um, for Valentine's red, Day, red would be okay. You're going to let them dry after applying. I am. Yes. Okay, so let's figure out how we're going to do this. I've got my tight bond, quick and thick, and that's what I use to glue them on. And, and I used to be very colorful, Stella. <laughs> Back in the day, I was like, wow, colorful. But it just doesn't light me up these days. But I don't mind some red for Valentine's Day. I'm going to cut that off there. And actually, I might wait and get them all on. Well, I kind of got to cut them a little bit as I go. So this could be a big fat fail. Who knows? But let's glue them as we go. And this side. Okay. And I don't even, I don't really have a plan on how I want to, you know what, I got a feeling I'm not really going to like that one with those straight edges though. So I'm going to carry on with something else. Let's go with this skinny one next. It's not going to fit in there perfectly either, but yeah, we're just going to go with it. Okay, that looks pretty close. And I can come back and trim all around the edge at the end if I need to. And I don't know if I even said earlier, I do have cornstarch in my molds. That's why they come out so stinking easy. Almost too easy. I almost like better not putting the cornstarch in, but it's better safe than sorry. Okay. squeezed up on there. I hope I don't make this all wonky looking, but we'll find out. Okay, let's do the thick one next. <laughs> you guys are probably wishing I to, would have um, glued this all on and just put pictures out. But no one's got you chained to watch me, so... You're free to come and go. Okay, let's overlap that a little bit. Let's 
see how I did. Hmm. Not as good as I would like. Oh shoot, I just remembered. Someone texted me earlier and I have not even had a chance to read it. Okay. Now I don't wanna press on them too much while they're fresh like this because I will lessen my detail. I don't want that because they have such pretty detail. Okay, now I'm gonna go on to maybe this little one here. And I have no idea if I even have enough cut to finish this thing, or not cut, but rolled out. Remains to be seen. feel like this is tedious kind of are you guys saying anything am I missing it at all no you guys are just very quiet maybe this is just very boring okay let's go back to this one now yeah, gosh I hope I don't have to looks like I am gonna have to roll out more doggone it I really didn't want to put you guys through that And as always, you can leave and come back later. And then you have the ability to um, fast forward through the boring. Ooh, I'm feeling a breeze from somewhere. That's not quite gonna work. Okay, there's that. Make sure I got plenty of glue under there. Is that hard in your shop? It is not, Lisa. Um, I honestly found this in my last year's stash. Thanks, Patricia. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Uh, some people have been nasty and said, I don't need to see you do every part of it. I'm like, well, are you aware you can fast forward through it? And then I usually ban them. <laughs> I ain't got time for negativity. Okay. So it looks like I'm going to have to get some more here. Man, I can't believe I went through all that already. I thought it was so good. Okay. And you can use resin, I think. I have not used resin before. I want to try it one of these days because it would be a lot quicker. You know, just pouring it in your mold and then letting it but let's see but that has to stay in the mold so that does tie up your mold for a while so yeah so that might not be the best way either but but that's a thought i do want to try it one of these days it can't be that hard right epoxy and resin those are things i have not really messed with i think they scare me a little I have them on hand to try, just haven't done it. I like to stick with what I know, sort of sometimes. That's not always true either, but. Okay, there's that one. Okay, let's see what we need for it. Wonder if hot glue, yes, it does. Um, Carla Hume, that's in our private group, she uses, she has used hot glue in there. I don't know how well it takes paint. Um, I have not used it, so. Anywho. Um, let's see, where are we at here? What else do we want? I think we should be ready for that big, thick one again. Uh, I love this, I think this might turn out kinda cute. Fingers crossed. More glue. Okay. And hopefully that'll cut that 
off a little straighter and I think we can use it there. Uh, thank you, Nancy. I think it's gonna be kind of cute, I hope. Your four-year-old twin grandsons love using the molds with Nana, that's fun. I don't have any grandkids yet, maybe someday. Okay, so I started with the heart. Okay, so I need this one again, if I'm sticking with it. Tracy's doing the same. I bought the resident scared, just keep staring at the box. <laughs> if it gets crafted this weekend, it's on the agenda. Awesome. Yeah, I've got to get some things. I'm thinking, ooh, what could I do? I was like, I'm always doing something, so it's not that exciting for me. Okay, doggone it. Okay, I couldn't see comments for a minute. I started to panic. Model magic for kids. I'm so far out of the loop with kids. I don't know. Apparently the paint sticks to the hot glue. At least it did in the video she did. Okay. Do you use modeling clay all the time? Um, I don't play with molds a lot, honestly. So I don't have an all the time to con compare to, I guess. <laughs> but yes, this is what I normally use. But like I said, I wanna try resin um, one of these days, because I have it. Uh, which one am I doing? That one. I think I picked up the wrong mold. Okay, back to this one. You guys know I'm not great at multitasking. At least the bigger ones seem like they come out quicker. Okay. And I don't know, you can see this stuff comes out really good, so. And I don't have anything else to compare it to. So I'll just leave that there for you. I'm gonna turn on the fan. Hubby did get the heat working in here. Phew, we have it set on 62, but Whew, my nerves kick in when I do these videos for some reason. You'd think after five years I wouldn't be ner ner nervous anymore. Ooh, does the modeling clay take stain? I'm not sure. I feel like they have said that it does, but that's a good, we'll try that when we color these or color or do whatever we're going to do to it tomorrow or the next day. I'll surely have some scraps left over that we can try that with. And if anybody else knows, pipe up. Let her know, because I don't know. I feel like, oh, I think I'm thinking of wood you bend. I know that they say that takes stain, though I've never stained it either. Um, Verla, I'm using cornstarch in the mold. Um, yeah, I did try the um, IOD one time, and I'm not dissing either one of them. They both work just fine. Yes, clay takes to stain paint and wax. It's okay. But I, and I can't remember why I did like this one better, but I think it's what you get used to. And I haven't been doing them all that long. Oops. Okay. Put that on there. I just feel like we're playing arts and crafts today. Okay, that's kind of cute. That's going to add some weight to it, but it's not as heavy as I thought it would be. Okay. Got our thick one, then we got that one. Now we need the rose border again. We have some of it, but it's not going to be enough. Okay. Really don't need quite that much. Because then it, it almost doesn't want to stay in there. It looks almost like a wedding cake. Yes. Oh, shoot. Let's see if it got anything on it. I think it's okay. 
Um, yes, these would be amazing with the, um, oh, oh, on a wedding cake, on those faux wedding cakes that I have meant to do for so stinking long. I don't know. I have wanted to do, yeah, what do they call them? Faux something? Faux? I don't know. But I used to do wedding cakes in another life. So, I just always thought that would be fun to, and I have like paper mache boxes in the sizes of wedding cakes, so I could easily do it, but it's just fine in the time. But these, yes, would be perfect and look like a wedding border around a cake. Why oh, I'm struggling with this one. Okay. My edge is cleaned up. I'm not being too rough on it. Because I have done these in the past without um, putting any cornstarch in there. And they still come out. Not quite as easy, but pretty easy. But I find when I do put the cornstarch in there, they want to come out before I'm ready. Okay. Let's do that part real quick. I did squinch that a little, but I think it's okay. And these will shrink and crack some, most likely. And that's okay with me because I like that look. But, okay. Um, so what's next? The hearts. Oh, they got that skinny thing. At least I have one of it. It's probably not long enough, though. Hey, Pat. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. Now, you probably won't see me for a week after um, being live this many times today. But, I don't know. I've got so many ideas in my head. I just got to get some of them out. You know what I mean? Ugh. And, and maybe I'm just trying to avoid the computer. I don't know. I don't know. If you can in, um, interpret my inner workings, <laughs> let me know. Okay, I just need a little pinch here. But yeah, I have definitely, and I definitely have a lot I need to be doing on the computer right now. So yeah, this, this might be my coping mechanism for not getting the things done that I need to be doing. That's always a possibility. Okay, we got the skinny one. Now it's time for the big heart. Or I call it heart. It looks like, whoop, looks like hearts to me. And these just remind me of Play-Doh. It's just a little, like a little thing of Play-Doh. But you can make such beautiful things. You could even make a picture frame with this stuff. Oh, I was going to make a floral one, a rose or something. I've got out some stuff to make a sign, if you guys want to stick around when I get this done. Um, with the new stencils we got today. Thought I could do one real quick, but I'm thinking I should probably get inside and get back to work too. So, not that this isn't work, but <laughs> I got to do that stuff too. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I even remembered to, uh, put anything on that. Oh, we're getting close. Good deal. That's why I like that wider one. Glue. Can you use the straight edge ones or not? Um, do you mean like this? 
I shied away from it because I didn't, I mean, it would go good with that one, honestly. But I didn't feel like it went very good next to that heart one. Um, if, if, if that's what you're even asking. If I'm even interpreting correctly through the screen. But yeah, I purposely left that those two behind because I didn't like the way they were fitting with everything else. But I could do a totally different one and put that one and this, some other straight edge ones next to each other and it would have been totally cool. Okay, so we got the heart, we got skinny, we got the roses. And that might be about all she wrote. Fit better this way. Does it even matter? No, nope, don't think it's really gonna make much difference. Okay, so let's get that on there. I'll pull that leaf back actually. Make it fit around there better. And then we need oh, that little skinny thing again. Shoot, I thought I had a piece of that left. I would have if I'd have done the whole stick last time. And you do want to kind of keep the lid on this like I just didn't do, but I am now. Sealing it up, keep it fresh. Okay, I'll keep these out to play with for whenever we get back to this. Hopefully later this, oh shoot, later this week is tomorrow, isn't it? Tomorrow is Friday. Love watching me create, hurt my back. Oh no, for the past four days. Oh, wow, I'm sorry about your back. There is, there's plenty of videos to binge watch, <laughs> if that helps. And I'm a hot mess in each one, so. Okay. I hope this is enough. And I used to do wedding mints, so. Oh, no, Verla, I hadn't even thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow is Flip It Friday. So I should be coming on here tomorrow with a thrift store flip. I'm going to go ahead and trim this all up. Hmm, I forgot. <laughs> or I hadn't thought of it yet anyway. I have to see what I've got. I mean, uh, there's no shortage of thrift store finds here, that's for sure. I would turn this over and cut from the other side. I think it would be a little easier, but I don't want to smudge my, my molds. I don't want to lose my um, designs, I guess. I think you can surely add a little bit of water to these that I'm cutting off that I don't know. I would think you could reactivate them a little bit if they weren't too far gone. Not that anybody asked that that I know of, but I'm just thinking out loud. Like I said, I will probably paint this white tomorrow or whenever it dries sometime. So yeah, it might be next week before we get back to it. Isn't that stinking cute? Even if you just painted this white right now, it's totally adorable. Okay, I'm going to see if this is savable. I'm going to put it in a different container, though. Okay, so that's it for that, I think, for today. Yes, that's it. Unless we want to do a sign. Stop. You never give yourself enough credit. <laughs> just the way are. Oh, uh, thank you, Lisa. I have had so many beautiful comments today. That makes up for the devil being on my on my butt yesterday. So, uh, yesterday was not a good day. Okay, thank you, guys. Yes, I think it's adorable, too. Will I add a bow? Mm, probably not. I'm not a bow person. I probably will. That's a good point, though. I should get that hole. Um, and I shouldn't say I'm not a bow person. I don't know why I'm even saying that. Depends on the bow, I guess. 
trying to find what I've got here thin enough to poke into that. See if I can find it with this. There we go. So we've got our, we'll have that in there. We'll be able to hang it with that twine that came out of there. So thanks for saying that because it did make me remember. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I wouldn't say I wouldn't do a bow. I don't feel a bow at this point, but you guys know me. I change my mind all the time. And it could have been closer up there. I could have cut that better. I'd like to say I would have if I wasn't on camera and wasn't trying to hurry, but I think we all know that would be a lie. So <laughs> I still would have screwed it up. But anyway, that's what it's looking like. So happy Friday Eve. I uh, can't wait till you finish it. I can't either. It's going to stay out here in my cold shop, though, so it might take a while to dry. But any hoozle. <laughs> yeah, Patricia, I will finish it live. That's just fine. It doesn't hurt to ask Rosie. Sorry if I sounded funny about that. I'm just, I'm just weird. Um, I don't know. Cause I, I don't know. I probably won't because I'm, I am more as less these days. I used to be big, fluffy, froofy, crazy. And my taste has just changed. So I, I don't, I don't go all crazy anymore. Nice and warm here in Oahu. <laughs> hey, it's nice and warm here too. I think we're 40 something. <laughs> That's a heat wave here right now. I'm not complaining. I love all the seasons. I could not, I, I, I wouldn't say I could not. You can do anything. But I'm, I'm, I do love each season individually. Fall is my favorite, but okay. That's it for today. Sorry, that was, that took longer than I expected. When you press down, does it affect the mold? Yes. <laughs> it can. It definitely can. I think we're still fine. You know me. I like, I just keep touching it. I need to walk away. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, you definitely could, which now it's already starting to dry a little bit. So, it's, it's going to be pretty hard to get rid of it now. You could flatten it some, I think, but I think we're fine. So, there you go. And hopefully, it'll probably be next week before I get back to this now, because since... Verla so kindly reminded me that I have a commitment tomorrow to flip something from a thrift store. So <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now. Good morning. I'm going to go ahead and move this down right away. <laughs> How the heck are you? Happy, happy Monday. I hope you had a pleasant weekend. I am feeling all sorts of out of the loop. It's been, I think it was last Thursday was the last time I even did a live. So, I don't know why, but this makes me feel really <laughs> out of practice. So, anyway, if you remember, this is where we left off last week with this. I think it was actually Thursday. I think this is the last one I did. So, hello, Donna. Okay. Um, so here's where we left off. As you can see, there's lots of cracking and lots of shrinkage. So if I had it to do over, I would try to squinch them together more than I did. Hi, Stella. But this is what we're dealing with, which if you know me, you know, I love this cracked look. So <laughs> thanks, Donna. Okay. I'm going to paint this an off-white. Hi, Kathy. Um... So yeah, I'm just going, oops, and see, this is why I don't like these bottles, but that'll be all right with this project. I'm just going to paint the whole thing this off-white. Hey, Deborah. Pretty snowy here, too. I do, too, Donna. I really do. Oh, and I will say that while I was, um, I came out to check on this. I don't know, it'd been a few hours. And the wood that I have this on is really thin. It's probably eighth inch. I was gonna see if I can figure out where it came from. I can't tell by looking at the back. No clue, um, but I did not find them on eBay. So, anywho, um, it's really thin. So between the glue and the moisture of the molds and everything, it started heaving up a little bit. 
So, and I know I took a picture of it, but I put some paint bottles and, and some weight on there to make it flatten back out. So you might, you know, want to babysit yours a little bit and see if it's doing anything funky like that. So then when I came back out, hey, Patricia, uh, South Dakota doesn't hardly have any snow. Well, that's crazy. Donna, I didn't find them on Amazon when I looked. Uh, or did I? I found the three inch and the four inch, but this is like a nine inch. Hey, Joni. Okay. Hate these bottles, just so y'all know. Oh, there we go again. This is the generic ones. I would not get these generic ones again. But anywho. Oh, <laughs> Lori found hearts like this at the $1.25 store. So they, they may have them. But um, when I looked for nine inch ones on Amazon, I did not find them. But I might have looked for the wrong thing. What color? Oh, this was um, Bayberry. It's like my favorite green. Okay, just getting a good coverage all over this. Happy Monday, Julie. Sorry if I'm missing some comments. Trying to make sure I get down in all the crackage here. Well, I've really got a lot of paint on there, but I don't know if I have it everywhere I need yet. I like that. And we will dry it, and then we will probably... I haven't decided if I'm going to use wax or glaze. Probably whichever one is handier. But I think we just about have it all filled in. So anyway, like I said, I did um, have to put some weight on it to make it stay flat. Like I said, a lot must be a lot of moisture between the molds and the really thin wood. Let's turn this around and make sure we're getting everything. Hey, Christina. Hey, Beverly. Always a good idea to spin things around and look at them from the other way. At least for me, because I always miss something. Verla's in the house. Hey, Verla. Okay, I want to make sure I keep my hole there that we uh, poked out so that we can put some twine through there when it's all said and done. Okay, now we've got the boring task of drying it, so bear with me here. Shoot. Something was on my cord. Okay, so sorry if I'm missing any comments. Happy Monday, Linda. So yeah, that's a pretty good gap there. Which, like I said, all said and done, it's not gonna bother me. So we'll get this puppy dried, and then actually, why don't I be looking here and see what I wanna put. We might just use some antiquing glaze. That might just be perfect. And I'm going to stay with my neutrals. <laughs> I know somebody told me last week to, what did they say? I can't remember, break out of my shell or something, but I used to be very bright. So, so neutrals is a little different for me than it used to be anyway. Hey, Erica. I feel like it's, I don't know. I don't feel like I've been neutral for that long, but yet I look back at some pictures when I scrapbooked, it's like, oh, I guess I've been, been digging neutrals longer than I even realized, so. Patricia, thank you for the stars. Expand your horizon, that was it, Stella. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been there. I have been expanded and, and came back. Good morning, Connie. Yes, we got some baby calves. Luckily, while it was Friday afternoon, Greg and I were out there sorting them, getting them in the barn, the ones that he thought looked the closest. And then, um, so we got, I don't know, at least 15 or 20 we had inside the barn so that they weren't out, you know, out and about where they would, you know, fall down and freeze to death and fall down a ravine or something crazy, you know. So we got them all in. And then, yeah, that very first night we had, 
oh gosh, one, I think, and then one in the morning, and then we had the set of twins um, last night when he went out at 11. And then I just posted another picture a while ago of the cute little suckers. They're up and walking around, and, and even the little one that looked, that was actually chilled, um, he had moved them into the barn last night. Let me grab a different chip brush. So, yes, they are currently in the heated little nursery. So, yeah, there's a cute little video of them walking. A little side windy. Have to bring them in, in by the... Yes, I remember back when Greg and I first got together, we used to have to bring them into the basement because we didn't have the facilities to take care of them. Good morning, Debbie. Snowstorm, full moon. <laughs> Full moon, great time for babies. Yeah, isn't it though? Okay, so what I'm using is antiquing glaze and apparently I didn't turn my screen around. Not that it matters, but somebody will holler at me. Um, you have no idea how hard this is to do sideways. Okay, hopefully that's it now. So I'm just gonna use Fusion's antiquing glaze. Good morning, Christina. And I'm just gonna slather it on everywhere. I know it's gonna look atrocious right now, but hopefully it works out in the end. Bet the hospitals are busy also. Oh, probably. So I, again, I'm trying to get down into every crack and crevice with this glaze. Okay. I think we've just about got it. Are you kidding, Lori? Her husband called again. That sounds like Greg whenever I go, well, it's been a long time since. I think I've got some wet paint down in there. I keep smearing it. It looks a little different color there. But we may finish this and come back and add a little bit more. I don't think I got it completely dry in all the nooks and crannies. But hello, Jane. <laughs> Lori's not kidding. Used to be whenever I would go to town and get groceries or whatever, if I accidentally decided to stay in town for lunch, never failed, he would call right when I was getting my first first lunch, first bite. And then he'd want to talk and talk. And I'd be like, but this is Mexican and it's so good. Can I please go now? <laughs> but anyhow, it's funny how they got that timing down. Okay, I'm just gonna take an old rag now and wipe back the excess, but leave it down in my crack. Or the cracks, I should say. And I like this. Now it looks very vintagey and aged. Because that did say, uh, what's that say? A antiquing glaze, so lives up to its word. He told him not now, Tammy is on. He's probably going, woman, you can watch that and replay. Nothing too exciting going on today. I was trying to think, what can I bring you guys today with any kind of value? I just really wasn't feeling like going live too much. Like I just, I don't know. Shop's kind of a mess. <laughs> then I was like, oh, I remembered this project. So I thought we'd come out here and work on it. And I should be getting in some more. That we, did, we talked about that last week, Erica. He is, in fact, not. We looked. <laughs> we did check. Okay. I'm going to blot this a little more, and then I'm going to blow dry it again. Or heat gun it, I should say. Okay. I like the looks of that. Okay. Let's see if we can get her dried up a little. Let's see, am I in camera? I hope so. Whoop. Got a bristle there. Brush, brush, bristle. Okay. That looks like it could use some, I wonder if I'm reactivating it with the heat. I might put some weight on that again. With all the um, 
work I'm doing to it in a hurry. You know, we are speeding up the process for Facebook, so. Okay, I think I've got this about as dry as I'm going to get it for now, and I'll let the rest of it dry organically. Oh, and I did want to say, thank you, Erica. Um, when I did, like I told you guys, I, I had put this on earlier. I think I put like three of them on. When I pulled them back up, it was still um, wet under there. So it, it still had to dry quite a while after that even, but, but it did stay flat at least. Okay, I think I am gonna add that weight there. And let's see if I can find another foolish one here. There we go. I'm gonna let that dry and we'll come back. I know that looks ridiculous, but just showing you the real deal, this is how I'm doing it. So that will be, I'm gonna let that dry now and that's it. So let me see what you guys, oh, actually I can't see anything on there. He doesn't have Facebook either. He's just needy. <laughs> he just loves you, Lori. Uh, loving the look of the heart. Thank you, Erica. Did someone ask if you sell this heart mold? Um, Sonia, it's not a heart mold. This was a, this was just a, a real thin heart, like a, a plywood type heart, like an eighth inch thick. It's really thin. And then I used this mold to do, um, I used all of those on here except for this one, I think. I didn't like it with it. Yeah, I think I used all the other ones. I think this one's called Elegant Borders. So, and actually there is another video um, where I did all of that. So, if you need help finding that, let me know and I can tag you in it or, or give you the link for it. Yes, Christina, yes, nice and antique-y. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put some weight back down on that. Just keeping it real, because that one wanted to lift a little bit. But yeah, that's all I can do to it for now. So you might see me back later today with, um, okay, Lori says Dollar Tree has them. She didn't see them at Hobby Lobby. Okay, Sonia, I'll, I will go back through all these messages and see what I missed, and if I, I should come back across this, I should be able to um, find it, because it's from I know when it was from, so I can find that for you. Um, what else? Oh, I should be back later. Uh, we should have a decoupage queen shipment coming in today. Supposed to be, but it was supposed to be here Saturday and then Sunday and then Tuesday and now Monday. So who knows? Okay, Sonia's going to go check Dollar Tree today. See, our Dollar Tree sucks. So I, well, I don't leave the farm very often, but the rare times I have, I am so disappointed. It is like, why do I ever waste my 10 seconds running in there to see they have nothing? So Okay, that's it for me. I'm going to hop off of here. I hope you're having a lovely Monday, and I hopefully will be back later with, oh my gosh, <laughs> you don't need to see all that on my workbench. <laughs> uh, I will be back with the uh, decoupage queen papers whenever they come in, whether that's today or another day, who knows, but um, yeah had to go to five of them really well see I don't even have that kind of an option oh but I could order them online probably but you got to order quite a few which probably wouldn't be a problem Sonia is loving her snow I'm not complaining because I haven't had to get out in it but I know it's not been fun for my guys with chores so which actually Brendan's out of town in Texas but he's coming back today so He's gotten to play all weekend. He's in for a, a rude awakening when he gets back. But he knows what's going on. Him and Greg have kept in touch, and he's seen the babies and yada, yada, yada. So, okay, hopping off here. I will hopefully see you guys in the next day or so with Decoupage Queen new papers. So, bye.